So, a uh, quick note before the review start. Um, I'm going to have to do this, do this reviews the, the same way I do my quick reviews. So, these are like my quick reviews, but a little bit longer. I can't find my <laughs> SD card, nor the card reader. So, for the moment, until I find it, I'm going to do this the same way I do my quick reviews. So, if you like this format, let me know. But for now... I got to put out content and on with the show. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Oskino Fly back with another review. And this time we're reviewing Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Rapper from Compton had the world anticipated for this album since damn. Was it worth the wait or not? Let's talk about it. This album is as deep and vulnerable Kendrick has ever wait, been. Seven. As the first thing he says in United in Grief that he's going through something. Over piano keys that halfway turns to fast paced drums explaining how he grieves different. N95 is his first single off the album that gives the same type of vibes that Family Ties did for Baby King. T to me, this song is what kicks off the album as it does what Kendrick does best, kicking conscious bars over a catchy beat that gives you dancing. One thing about Kendrick is that there's a purpose and message for all of his albums. If you ask me what he's trying to give the message out on this one is that he is battling generational curses while battling inner demons that's in him, such as, you know, cheating with other women as he talked about it as many times. It makes him relatable as most millennials in this generation. So a lot of songs that tackle that will feel right at home with his song topics. Some of the standout tracks is Father Time, where he speaks on having daddy issues and not having emotions. To not feel weak and how daddy issues made him feel competitive. Another standout track is we cried together and it's basically an argument between a man and woman where they verbally go back and forth until the end where it goes from hating each other to making love if you've seen baby boy it's just like that the one thing i do love uh, after the end of this track it seamlessly transitions to Par Lately, purple hearts which is a love song silent hill is another track that kodak is featured on and kodak actually keeps up with kendrick lyrically Kendrick's obviously still better, but from what I've heard from Kodak, it's actually impressive. Also, I can't go through this review without talking about the controversy that is Auntie Diaries. When people heard this song, it got mixed reviews of the content of the song, where one side is calling Kendrick an ally, while the other song is calling him transphobic because he's using dead names. In my opinion, if you think he's transphobic, then you really didn't listen to the song. Also, you can't get mad at how he tells the story or how when he was younger, how he used homophobic slurs and when he didn't know any better. Also, I know people have a problem with using the F word homophobic slur. Y'all know what that is in a song to get the message through the song. So I will say this. Some things are made for you to feel good, but made for you to understand. And for the people who gave an opinion before listening to the song, I advise you to listen to the song first, then give an opinion. Overall, whether it's his final album or not, you cannot deny that Kendrick Lamar has one of the best album layouts created by an artist. His body of work is so good that if you would put his album from worst to best, you'd switch your list a thousand times and still be undecided. This album is definitely album of the year candidate. I can see this being a certified classic to a lot of people outside of Kendrick's fan base. But for now, I think we should honor the mecca of work that Kendra has brought us over the past decade. So let me know what you guys think. How did you feel about the album? How did you feel about some of the songs? What was your favorite songs? How did you feel about Auntie Diaries when you first heard it? Let me know in the comment section. Till then, my name is Oskino Fly, and I'm out. Peace. Fancy ass man wear glove rings Flying around town in a tub of wings Found out how to make love to fiends He mixing that fudge with the drug of dreams She too teenage to have a drug of choice But she fuck with that Royce like she love Detroit She wrote Pharaoh. Pharaoh.